it wasn't until I was in graduate school, if you can imagine, that I actually was able to understand about myself that I wasn't either good or bad. It was a question that tortured me. Was I a good girl, as my parents were constantly wanting me to be, or from the few secrets I knew about myself, was I a bad girl? And of course, the wonderful thing is, none of us is either bad or good. And the, and the thing about Delancey Street, which is a place for people who have been mostly doing horrible things, had horrible things done unto them, our average resident is a third generation gang member, uh, victims of violence and then perpetrators of violence, many generations of poverty, they've never worked, they've never gone to school, they've hurt people, etc. Name a social problem and we always say we proudly represent it. Uh, we are the underclass of America, the people no one wants to look at anymore because we don't know how to solve our problems. But the wonderful thing is that scales can be balanced, that you can have your scales tipped with having done lots of horrible things, and then you can start balancing them by doing lots of wonderful things. And you tip your scales, and in the course of a lifetime, None of us, none of us is either one or the other. For me, Delancey Street, I became a person who worked in prisons, helping people, being a therapist, doing groups, and everyone would say, thank you, Mimi. And I would, you know, say, what a good girl Mimi is. Uh, and I was, as you said, a quote, good girl, until I realized that no one, particularly the underclass, who are only receivers in our culture, they either receive punishment or they receive help, for which they must say thank you or it's never enough or it's, but no one, gets to be the doers, and it's only the doers who feel good about themselves. A self-concept, a good self-concept, where you, where you feel good and you want to give and you don't live out of fear and you begin to get courage mm -hmm. and you want to stand up for a principle and you say, I want to hide someone. I want to help someone. I want to do something brave. I, 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 I want to be a person who stands out from the crowd. I want to run and save someone from this building. I want to be a hero somehow, some little way in this world. That only comes from being a doer, not a passive receiver. And so the idea of Delancey Street is just that simple. Act as if you are the good doer, the helper, the giver, the most important brave person who knows how to care for everyone, upon whom everyone counts. So Delancey Street set up with no funding and no staff. And you act as if you are that person. That's what I love about Delancey Street. We take no government money. We don't have to have the government tell us what's good. <laughs> we found a little private way to let people who have done horrible things do wonderful things for each other and for the community. They help seniors, they help kids, they go to kids in trouble. We do as much as we can, not only for each other, but for our communities where we live. 
so that every day in a little way people are balancing that scale by incredibly decent acts. Everything is that you are the pe person who is needed, who is counted upon. You are always the potential hero. And lo and behold, you rise eventually and become. Act as if and you will become. And most people do.